This video will describe pearls and eye stent implantation, uh, specifically with the left pointing eye stent and the right pointing eye stent by using a variation on hand grip on the applicator, namely a forehand and a backhand grip, uh, as well as differentiating counterclockwise versus clockwise rotation. The first step here is to rotate, tilt the microscope about 30 to 40 degrees uh, away from the surgeon as we see the scope being tilted. We will then also rotate the patient's head about 30 degrees, 40 degrees as well, and this will, this will allow a reasonable line of sight with the use of a gonio prism to visualize the angle. This is the standard gonioscopic approach to surgical viewing of the angle. A coupling agent is applied to the surface of the cornea that will allow the gonio prism to sit nicely on the surface. Now this is the forehand grip. Notice the, the uh, applicator is held like a pen and our wrist motion will be as shown here in a counterclockwise fashion. This is a left pointing eye stent which will be placed to the left field of view on the angle. This allows for the best uh, ability to place the device accurately following the contour of the angle. The first step is a 30 degree approach is used to approach the angle as seen here. Notice our, our finger is ready to release the button once implantation has occurred. And once we have the device in the canal, the device is pulled toward us to ensure we have adequate passage within the canal. And notice the degree of rotation of our hand. This is about 30 to 40 degrees of rotation, very important. Uh, that allows the device to follow the contour of the angle as it curves around from the horizontal position. Notice again, we are holding the device applicator in a forehand grip we pass the, the device in a counterclockwise fashion. Now opposed to the forehand grip, this is the backhand grip. Notice here our elbow goes up a little bit. We have an overhand grip. This is more like holding a cigar or a cigarette if you smoked as opposed to holding a pen. This overhand grip or backhand grip allows us to flex our wrist to pass the device and follow uh, about again a 30 to 40 degree arc to allow the straight device to follow the curved angle. Very important concept to understand here. In this case, we are planting, implanting the device to the right side of the field of view, which again enables us to use this right pointing device in an ergonomic fashion. The approach is again a 30 degree angle. Once we have the tip of the device in the canal, we then acutely rotate our hand. You can hear about 30 to 40 degrees about clockwise, in a clockwise rotation as well as pulling the device slightly to allow adequate passage within the canal without hitting the outer wall. And notice again how our hand is rotated in a clockwise fashion. Our backhand grip has come to the left here in this case and follow the contour of the angle. Again, this differentiates from the forehand grip. And we'll here, we see now we can visualize in this case two eye stents implanted in the infranasal and supranasal angle. Here, we're holding the device with a backhand fashion you can see we can flex the wrist to the right in a clockwise fashion. This allows the device to be implanted here, in this case if it was a right eye stent, on the right side of the field of view, as we see here. Now if I turn my hand to a forehand position, with our wrist is extended here now, it's very hard and very awkward to rotate that hand in a clockwise fashion. We're locked, we're locked at the elbow and the wrist being extended is very difficult. On the other hand, if we rotate our hand around like a backhand grip, we allow ourselves to rotate the wrist to follow the contour of the angle.